What's up guys, welcome back to FNG Academy. Buck here, former Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. All right guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about a topic that keeps coming up, winter SFAS date or a summer SFAS date. So there's pros and cons to both. And I just wanna give you guys um, my view on it and the pros and cons to both winter uh, class dates and summer class dates. And trust me, in North Carolina, um, the winter and summer are pretty drastic. I mean, it can get absolutely freezing. Um, and throughout the Q course, I froze my butt off. So I had, uh, Kurt and I both had dead of winter, like horrible, horrible snowing, freezing rain conditions for both uh, Sear School and Small Unit Tactics. And then I went to uh, selection in the summer. But let's talk about when you should pick your, your class date, um, whether you should pick a summer class or a winter class, and the pros and cons to both. But before we do that, this video is sponsored by 18 Alpha Fitness. If you have any inclination of wanting to go special operations, you will need to be in shape. So go check out Kevin over at 18 Alpha Fitness. You code, code word BUCK and he will give you a discount. Uh, guys, just want to tell you real quick, we have a ton going on. The Ruck Trainer sold out in seven hours. So I can't wait to get all you guys that Ruck Trainer. I think you're going to love it. Um, it's an amazing product that we put a ton of effort in. And we're so glad that the response to it has been so positive. We can't wait to see what you guys think when you get it on um, and try it out. Also, we have the mentorship seminar coming up November 12th in San Antonio, Texas. Come meet the team. We're going to do book signing. Uh, we're going to do leadership, uh, team building, all this cool stuff. It's going to be an amazing seminar. We're really trying to you know, build how we do seminars and make them as good as possible. So each seminar is an opportunity for us to get better at it and to provide more to you guys. So we're doing our best. So please come check us out November 12th uh, in San Antonio, Texas. You can go check it out at shop.fngacademy.com to pick up your spot. Don't miss it. It's going to be good stuff. We're giving you guys everything we have um, from online content to mentorship. All right. So let's talk about winter class for summer class. Which one should you pick and which one's going to be more beneficial to you? So if you ask me, the, the, the pros and cons are both. I went summer class. Um, and here's the downside to summer class. Vegetation is thicker. So if you guys have heard, obviously you've heard of the draw monster and everything comes around dealing with uh, land nav. Land nav is really why you're asking that question. Should I go winter or summer? Uh, because we know that physically we could perform in either scenarios. The real question is, how does it affect land nav? That's what you're really trying to ask us. And so let's talk about that. So obviously in summer, um, your pack could be lighter because you don't have to wear snivel gear. So you don't have to pack out all that snivel gear. So that's nice. Obviously weather um, not being a factor is being freezing and cold and having to stay warm on top of finding all your stuff is nice. Not having to wear gloves while you're doing land nav um, is also nice. So the downside to the summer is the vegetation is so thick. Obviously, you know, draws are what you're trying to avoid and that thick vegetation is full grown in the summer. So you're going to be dealing with worse draw monsters in the summer and draw monsters end careers. They will eat you up and end your SF career um, and they eat candidates like they're candy. You know, draw monsters, just nom, 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 candidates all day long. So, you know, form, you know, potential green berets, that draw monster is like gate one, son. He's gonna eat your ass up and he's trying not to spit you back out because he doesn't want you to be a green beret, but you gotta fight your way through it. So summer, you're gonna be dealing with that. You're gonna have that thick ass vegetation and it's gonna make uh, land nav a lot more difficult. So in the winter, you get less vegetation. So the draws will be easier to bypass, which is an amazing benefit. But you're also gonna be carrying more weight because you're gonna need to pack out snivel gear um, because it can get absolutely freezing in North Carolina. So those are the kind of some of the pros and cons. So which one should you pick? Well, I would think a little bit ahead. So here's what I did. I, I did not do this right. I thought, what do I want to do? I want to get selected. That's the only thing that matters, right? And that's understandable. You want to focus on your 50 meter target. But then because of the time that I chose uh, selection, it led me into a winter SEER and a winter SUT. And when I tell you that I was made into a Green Beret in SEER and Small Unit Tactics, 
that's when I became hardened. Like that is was the hardening process for me becoming a Green Beret was winter sear. They were calling it an Arctic blast. It was so freezing. Every time we went to the defect to get ready to go out for mission for three, four days, we would watch the news and just hope for some good news. And it would always be like a record low coming next three days. And we would all look at each other like, fuck, no. And it was so bad. And I've never been so miserable in my entire life than freezing rain sitting, laying on the ground in a patrol base, waiting for the sun to come up all night long. You realize how long a night really is when you're just all the ground is just sucking all the heat out of your body and it's freezing rain, like just turn into fucking snow, you know, Ugh, but that transition period and it was brutal. Like you want to talk about the whole like put hair on your chest moment. For me, it was freezing in sear and then freezing in small unit tactics. So maybe, you know, plan out your your selection date based on how when you want to start um, the Q course. Uh, but at the end of the day, I would just go when I have the spot because I tend not to, to worry too much about the weather and those like minor differences as far as, you know, snowball gear carrying the extra weight and what the vegetation is going to be like. I would really just want to be at the peak of my performance and know that I could do the best that I can in that moment. You know, I have my training has been uh, on point. I'm ready to go and I am just ready to hit it. That to me is what I would base when to go to selection on, not so much the weather, but that's not what you're asking. You're asking about, you know, the weather differences, whether you should go in summer, whether you should go in winter. I would just pick the one that, you know, is most convenient for your uh, situation and then understand the pros and cons of both. So that way you can go into it knowing that you're going to have to face these challenges. So if you're going to a winter class, know that your pack's going to be a little heavier because you're going to have to pack out snivel gear. Um, but the vegetation will be a little lighter. Summer, uh, another thing is water crossings. You know, water crossing is going to suck when you have to cross, you know, a stream and you get out and you're freezing. So what's the deal with that? So in the summer, you could just push through. Like I would do a water crossing. I wouldn't change. I would change out my socks and then, you know, a fresh pair of boots maybe, but I would just go. So I would stay wet, fuck it, go. And then dry off throughout the day as I'm out there rucking because the sun comes up and you're, you're drying off quick. Winter, that may not be such a good idea. So now you could be really, really cold and do water crossing, you know, and now plan for focusing on making sure that your stuff stays dry. So that way, when you're cold and you get out of the water crossing, you still have dry socks and you still have a dry pair, a dry uniform. And then you could take that uniform off, put it back in your uh, watertight pack, do your water crossings. You just have to take extra steps to plan for the weather. So just some things to consider. Uh, when you're deciding whether or not, you, you know, to go winter or summer, I don't think you should base it off that, but at least you know the pros and the cons. So there may be more pros and cons out there, but really it's depending on some people don't mind being cold. Like they really don't. I hate it. I hate being cold more than anything. I would rather be hot all day long, hot and sweaty than cold and freezing. So my preference is always going to be towards warmer weather, despite the potential downfalls and the thicker vegetation and the the you know the more challenges that come i would still rather be hot than cold that's just my personal preference so maybe your personal preference could help you in making that decision but i hope that helps you guys um, please check out the mentorship seminar and the mentorship program we are guiding you guys through selection um, and through all your soft aspirations and just life aspirations so we have the mentor program up and running and we're helping anybody, whether you're trying to go in the military or not, we're just helping to try and use our special operations, mindset, tactics, approach, leadership to help you achieve your dreams. So that's what we're trying to do. We're giving everything we have to the mentorees um, and everything we got to building our soft community and helping you guys obtain your goals, regardless of what those can be. So go check us out at fngacademy.com if you need some mentorship in any area of your life, we got your back. Talk to you guys next time. If your dream is to become a Green Beret, then you need all the help you can get. We have an upcoming seminar held by Green Berets in San Antonio, Texas on November 12th. We will break down exactly what you need to be preparing for 
the mental aspects, the physical aspects, and make sure that you have everything you need to get selected the first time. We'll work on team building exercises and make sure that you guys know the importance of working together as a team and what is expected of you in SFAS.